Hi, this is I from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today book is Happy Think Given Snoopy for from 2018. So let's get started. Charlie Brown loves Think Given. Every year he travels to visit his grandma and share a large, wonderful meal with his family. It's a very special tradition. This year, however, it's going to be different. I just got off the phone with Grandma, Charlie Brown told his tell his sister Sally. She can't host in Gibbon this year. She'll be out of town. What about our other grandma, Sally A? She's mountain biking in Toronto, in, in Toronto said Charlie Brown. Oh well, at least she's staying active, Sally says. Lucy and her family have their own thing given tradition. Usually she and her brother Linus and Rerun help their parents make a pumpkin pie for dessert. But this year Linus doesn't feel like participating. I don't think I'll help with the pie this year, Linus says. Lucy can't believe her ears. Why not, she asks. It, it's difficult to admit Linus is brain, but I simply don't care for pumpkin pie. Lucy looks confused. Rerun also refused to help. I don't care for pumpkin pie either, he said. Lucy is shocked. I can't believe this, she shouted. Maybe we could have cold cereal, though. Rerun suggested. You can't have cereal at St. Given, Lucy said, but cereal is delicious, Rerun tells her, and sometimes there's a prize in the box. Peppermint Patty had to change her St. Given plan this year, too. Her father works a lot, but he's always had St. Given off so they could spend it together, but this year he has to go on a business trip during the holidays. Peppermint Patty had an idea. She called her friends, Marcy. Say, Marcy, how would you like to spend a game with me, she asked. I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm so sick. All I can do is sleep and eat cereal crackers. Or soda crackers. Marcy whispered weakly, but it's St. Gibbon. What am I supposed to do? Peppermint Patty asked. Just do what I'm going to do, Marcy says. Stay in bed and be thankful for for cereal crackers. This is snap. Wait, this is snapping up to being a usual thing given for everyone. Everyone except Snoopy. He is spreading this holiday the way he always does by wearing sunglasses, leaning on his doghouse, and pretending his name is Joe Koo. Snoopy had an act of imagination. Here's Joe Koo standing outside his dorm. He got the whole campus to himself. Snoopy thinks everyone had spread for St. Given break. No classes, no worries. But Joe Koo doesn't always feel quite as cool as he pretended to be. No friends and no fun either, Snoopy sight. No one ever invites Joe Koo home for St. Given, he thinks. Meanwhile, to help clear his mind, Charlie Brown decided to take a walk. He winds up at his school playground. He sees his friend Peppermint Patty and Lucy sitting on the swing. Happy St. Gibbon, Chuck, Peppermint Patty says. Things are not going to be the same this year, Charlie Brown said. I can't believe my lousy brother ruined St. Gibbon, Lucy complained. At least your family is here and not selling insurance. And Peppermint Patty says, they all feel sorry for themselves. Then they see Joe Koo looking sad too. Here's Joe Koo, Snoopy thinks, walking over the river through the woods. Aimlessly across the vacant college, 
campus. Then he looks at Charlie Brown in sight. You know, Peppermint Patty said, I think Snoopy may be sad too. Why doesn't he celebrate St. Gibbon, Lucy said. Maybe he wants to, Peppermint Patty declared. Charlie Brown, do you do anything nice for your dog on St. Gibbon? Charlie Brown brushed it. Well, I bring him supper before we leave for Grandma House. A nice supper, Lucy asked. No, just his normal food, Charlie Brown admitted. St. Gibbon isn't a time to celebrate with your friends. Wait, wait. St. Gibbon is a time to celebrate with your friend and family, Lucy scored. Don't you think it makes Snoopy feel left out watching you celebrate every year without him? Charlie Brown agreed. He never thought about he never thought of that. I have an idea, Charlie Brown proclaimed. Since none of us are having our traditional St. Gibbon this year, let us start a new tradition. Celebrate together, and this time we'll be sure to invite Joe Koo. Snoopy heard the idea and smiled. What's this? An, in an invitation for Joe Koo? Snoopy pat Charlie Brown on the back and then joke, I'll check my silver. Peppermint Patty liked the idea too. Nice thinking, Chuck. But how can we celebrate St. Gibbon with no food? Where's the turkey? Where's the cornbread stuffing? Where are the cranberry shaped like a tin can? Snoopy had an idea and rushed off. I'll hand the food. I'll hand the food, Snoopy said. Joku always sent out for pizza. Snoopy quickly returned, followed by his friend Woodstock, who was smiling and carrying a large square box. Snoopy hands out sunglasses and everyone digs in. You know, it's not the turkey we had framed. Well, not the turkey we expected, Charlie Brown said, but it's one we'll never forget. Happy St. Gibbon. So that was Happy St. Gibbon. Snoopy from 2018. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.